if it's not your responsibility, if you if you can't, I think what she's saying is, if it's not your responsibility, if this isn't a decision that you're making, then who is making the decision? Whose responsibility is it, and how do we address that? I, I'm not quite sure how to answer that question. I'm not sure <coughs> why? Because the process, the judicial process, works as as follows: an allegation is made, um, an investigation is conducted, a hearing in the proper venue. Is mm -hmm. is conducted mm -hmm. within the school or without rendered. of the school? Within the school. Okay. A decision is rendered, and people have a period of time within which to file an appeal. Mm -hmm. People will generally file appeals. They did. And when the and, and then the decision, the, the appeal decision is the final decision. Mm -hmm. Then one seeks redress outside of the system mm -hmm. through a civil suit. Mm -hmm. and I think that's where we are right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you see that? In the, the civil court. court. No, that's a criminal court. I'm sorry, court. in the criminal court. court. Yeah. Criminal yeah. court. It's like, so are you saying, like rather are you saying the process, above the law? it's better to for students to seek justice outside the system because you're not going to reform the judicial process? Well, I said, that that's, saying? that's a very, very rare occurrence. It's a very rare occurrence. Yeah, I've been here for 26 Who years. Who is this guy? Twice. And that's when there's an impasse between what the, uh, He's a mafia? Alleged, <laughs> what the alleged uh, He's just, per the the person who's alleged to have violated college policies. He must be FBI. And the judicial, ju the judiciary is the appellate office, officers believe to be true. And then that impasse is then passed on to a court of appropriate jurisdiction, in this case it's the federal court, who now has the case, and who has had the case for so you are passing it along then. I and mean, regardless of how rare that occurrence is, that's what's happening now. It's not being passed along. It's, well, it's, it's, following, it's following the logical course of action for those kinds of cases. Again, as rare as they are, that is what happens. It's very similar to um, court cases that I'm very familiar with in higher education that involve uh, Affirmative action admission yeah, standards. Yeah, that's one that's, that's a very big item in the public courts right now. And uh, as people will seek to college, what do you want to ask? If they feel they've been discriminated against, if they feel right. the university the can be a student, don't feel like they've achieved an understanding that they both will live with, and um, um, the student will take that to the federal district court, and the federal district court is really that's why we have Supreme Court cases. It follows a, a logical line of jurisdiction. Uh, Are you aware of a law that we can, that we can perhaps bring? The, can we make this a legal matter? Is what I'm asking. Would it be possible to it bring is a legal this? Matter. I mean, I mean, can we make this a separate case and sue someone who we believe is doing something unjust and illegal in this case? Well, anybody can. Anyone can file a lawsuit. I mean, so I mean, certainly. The answer question would be yes. Okay, but I'm saying you specifically. I'm not particularly aware of, of the laws, um, but this just seems intuitively to infringe against something about you know that, that there must be a law set up that we can bring this into court and That's make why you this. That's you go see a lawyer. Could. You go Could well, a lawyer and well, are they students? You have mm -hmm. um, pro bono services. So okay. You have lawyers, and that's what you go see a lawyer. Right. Okay. And and the other thing I wanted to address, and this is just for understanding is that the, I think the one thing that's not being spoken right now is that um, whether students are willing to admit it or whether you're willing to admit it, I think everyone thinks that the administration has an interest in RJ and right. Justin not being here because of their activities, their, their activist activities, their normal sort of things that they were doing, which has very bad reps. And I've seen college magazines, admission magazines, and New Pulse is always up there with like this drug policy thing and, and blah, 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 blah. So obviously, you, the administration people know that this is giving New Paltz a sort of bad rip, so they want to appear to have a much stricter drug policy. And it just seems that this is an extremely convenient way to get rid of them for that. Um, that has seemingly nothing to do with you. And I just yeah, so no, can you no, address I can that? follow your logic. <coughs> you know, there's nothing that there's nothing that I'm aware of mm -hmm. that would lead me to believe that to be the case. You know? mm -hmm. One of the things I think I and my colleagues are very, are very committed to is maintaining personal integrity. Mm -hmm. Because I, you know, I, I can't expect you to have trust in my decisions, nor mm -hmm. if I give you reason not to. Mm -hmm. And 
conversely. Right. Nobody That's here is giving me reason other than to believe that you're that you, have you, you up are a committed student mm -hmm. and that you know, you're looking, your interest is in the, is in the um, best interest of the institution. Mm -hmm. So we can work together. Mm -hmm. As far as it being a personal vendetta, RJ oh, and Justin and I have a great relationship. Mm -hmm. you know? hmm. So it's certainly not about that. And I, I think I speak on behalf of my colleagues as well. Okay. okay. Um, I think that we are aware of something that makes us feel that there's a connection, and that is the quote that yes, we mentioned earlier by Peter Brown, saying going that the administration, or um, David Bernie yeah, actually is like quoted this. saying this, <laughs> he's looking for any excuse to get rid of these guys, and I know that you said you can't speak about specifics about this case, but I'm wondering if you really believe that you have a legal restriction stopping you from saying whether or not you've actually said something. You personally said something, freedom of speech in the past. And I can't imagine that legally you're not allowed to say, I said this thing or I didn't. And I really think that we didn't. We need an answer. We need to trust you. We okay. need to know whether or not you said. I appreciate that. Okay. And, and I tell you that there are documents pertaining to the court case that will answer exactly the question that you're asking. You can't tell us whether you've said something. We're all life. human beings here. Let's just speak honestly. I okay. I'm under the okay. advice of the Attorney General not to comment on the existing court case. What about, mm -hmm. okay. what about your... You're not acknowledging something that I allegedly said. I'm simply saying I have, I'm, under, I'm under advice not to discuss the court Advice. Case. Are you under oath or under advice? Well, I'm under no <laughs> such advice. <laughs> you're under okay. what? Then I would find... Yeah, but you're not the person who... who said no, I know, but I... Okay. It would be counter to it. Okay. Okay. Well, I just think that being under advice is different than being under legal restriction. And if you care about telling us the truth and giving us answers and not telling us to wait for years until the supposed court case will be finished, I think that that's a really an important decision that you have to make. And that if you believe you didn't say something, you should tell us that you didn't. And if it's possible that you did, you should tell us that you did. I'll try saying this a different way. I haven't said too much on Jim Vice President. Just say F you already. Has already said. He can't comment. That's the way. He's been told not to comment. Are you more beholden to your lawyers or more beholden to your students? Because as my understanding At goes, you're time, here to serve us. this time, I guess we have to take the advice of our lawyers. So you're saying I mean, that you're... If you had a lawyer that said for you, if something happened with you, and they said, listen, our advice to you strongly is to not discuss this case. Mm -hmm. I would talk to the students that pay your salary. Our advice to you is to <laughs> pay your salary. Yeah, talk to the students that pay your salary. Your lawyers don't pay your salary. I would tuition do. You're asking a question that you're not getting the answer that you want to hear to, and that is the answer. That's the answer, that we can't comment because the case is under litigation. I would love to answer your question. I would love to answer every question that you've asked. Then please right do. Now. Well, as public servants of a public institution, I believe that because you should. Right now, I'm we under can't. the advice of the Attorney General to not comment on We're not. Is it Cuomo or Spitzer? I mean, this it sort of changed hands recently. Which it doesn't change. Cuomo, no, yeah, Cuomo was a while back. Um, oh, the new Cuomo didn't win the election. Spitzer is the new Is there a way that we can get you overthrown? That's the next strategy. Next strategy. Don't ask them. Of course they ain't gonna say. Excuse me. Who advised you? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, sorry. Yeah, okay. We just had a new chat. Rachel, who's this? Who's this? Who is this? Can we do it? Uh, Joanna. I'm listening to you. People on both sides of this case.